Welcome to the Play 21 Mini Let's Plays. And today we have with us uh, Mai Hu from China and the US uh, with his game Zoom Hide and Seek. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> yeah, nice and to bye. have you. Uh, because yeah, we only thank have. You for me. Yes, of course. Um, uh, to get this started really quick, because we only have 10 minutes, uh, I prepared a little warm up. Uh, it's some sentences mm -hmm. and you can try to finish them. And mm -hmm. if you're ready, I'm going to start. Okay. Okay. So first one. This morning I drank... Nothing. <laughs> okay. My main occupation is... Um, so what is occupation? Uh, your, your, your job or what, whatever you do most of the time. Got it. I'm a software engineer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would describe myself as... A human? <laughs> nice one. My superpower is... Sleep. Cool. The thing I'm holding in my hand most of the time is... Mouse. Mice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, I... I am alive. I'm healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After the pandemic, I will. I will. I will continue being alive and healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, last two. Uh, I'm creating interactive works because. Because I love to create things. I love being creating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most difficult one, of course, you know, uh, just a, a little big question. Uh, the future of games will be. I don't know. <laughs> I've read anything, anything. Yeah. But nobody knows, but uh, yeah. Let's just hope it will be great. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So I would say we jump into the game and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you, you're, sharing, you're sharing your screen here and we are in Zoom. So we're like in the, in the perfect platform for yep. your game, right? So, mm -hmm. so, so what is this about? Okay, so um, it's a game played over Zoom. And it can be played by two player or more than two player. And again, there will be one hider and all the other player are seeker. So for the hider, uh, you can request a remote control or you just uh, share a screen. And so I can just uh, play it a little bit. So for the hider, your job is to hide your mouse. So yeah. you can see there are a lot of uh, mouse cursor on the screen and your job is to, there's only one that is controlled by you. All the other is trying to, you know, simulate your mouse. Mm -hmm. And first for the header, you need to find out where is your cursor. Um, you can, you have one more information you got because you, you have the control of your mouse. You know, when you move left, your cursor will move left, but you still have to find your mouse through all these cursors. The easiest way is that you can move very, fast, the other mouse will not follow, so you know where is your cursor. But it will also that the other player know where is your cursor. So yeah. the, what you have to do is to move very slowly and try to make all the other cursor looks like yours, so the other player will not know where you are. And to finish the game, you have to click four letters to win. Every time we click, one letter you expose your position and also i will randomly delete some of the fake cursors so it will make okay. it easier for the other player yeah and if you finish four letter i will uh, review your position and you win and for the other sick player who is a seeker um they can shout out when they find your cursor they can shout out stop 
and the player, the seeker can have to stop and and press a space button to re review your position. And yeah, for for the other player, they have to um, also call your number. And when you press space, you review your number, and you see if if they find out the correct uh, number. If you find out, then they win. Mm -hmm. So that's the play. That's the game. And I think we can sub play it a little bit. Oh well, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, it was quite easy to to see your cursor now, <laughs> but uh, if you try it for real, um, you're you're probably a pro in hiding already. Can you see my cursor right now? No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me first find my cursor. I don't know where it's. Mm. <laughs> Can you see my cursor? Mm, not now. <laughs> okay. Uh, what what I like it is that that you can also uh, make it a little bit more difficult uh, if your task is to have a real word in there. Yeah. Yes. Like I mean, of course, everything was with, with four letters. Um, but how did you come up with the idea? The idea was um, yeah. Actually, this is not my first Zoom game. The for this game, it's a, it's a, an assignment from a class called the Prototype Studio. Mm -hmm. It's taught by Bennett Body, and we have to make one game. So everyone in class have to make one game every week. And usually we have got one day to finish the game. So it's pretty like a game jam. And for that day, our assignment is to make a game that can be played over Zoom. Mm -hmm. And the lim limitation is that we have to use the functionality provided by Zoom, like screen share, uh, voice, and remote control and annotation. Mm -hmm. So um, when I thinking about uh, the game played by over Zoom and thinking about what's the difference between you know playing a game in person versus play it remotely over Zoom. I think one thing that is different is that um, the other player can only see my screen. If it's like playing in person, they can see my emotion, they can see my body gesture, they can see how I move my mouse. So this game, I think it will be harder to play it in person. Otherwise, I have to hide my my hand and hide my mouse, so other player will not, you know, look at my mouse and also look at the screen. That will explode my uh, movement. So, mm. but yeah, have, so have you tried it actually to 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 look at people playing it in, in real life, because it could also add a, an interesting new layer, right? So yeah, that's true. But that's how I have how I came up with this idea. Yeah. I think it will be also interesting to play it in real life yeah yeah well we will see at the at, at play because we have it in in the virtual world but also in the real world so um, oh really i didn't yeah. know that oh now you know <laughs> yeah that's great oh and uh would you say um that those concept made you think about how games could be played during the pandemic or or after the pandemic is there a change happening uh, stop, um, stop, uh, 119. Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's 119. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I can try to make it harder. Um, sorry, I need to hide my mouse. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but is there a, a new kind of games uh, coming up, or new experiences uh, being seeked by players all around the world now that we had a, or is the have the pandemic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, when I make this game, I was thinking, um, I'm thinking more about as a student, what I need to, to train in my game design skill. And when the pandemic happened, when all went all online, it's really hard for us to make a game, make a game and play test each other's game. Mm, true. And so um, 
yeah, my first uh, Zoom game is not an uh, ass assignment, but for making a game for, uh, you know, for a class called the Beyond the Controller, we make a game, we make a controller and we make a game. But that's became not possible because of the pandemic, because we cannot reach the hardware we need, we cannot reach the tools. And we started to think, I started to think, how can I make it work? Um, how to, you know, how to make a different controller and also allow the other classmates and professors to test my game. So it became very natural to use the Zoom as the tool to, you know, make a game that plays on the Zoom and can test on the Zoom. So it's more like, uh, you know, what I can, you know, something I can only do um, for making a game during a pandemic when we are all online. Mm. And I think, yeah, um, I don't know. I think um, I wish, I wish when the pandemic is over, we can or you know play game in person normally because I I feel I like like you know the, the in person experience more um, rather than Zoom. But if we have to you know you know use Zoom forever, if Zoom is the future, then probably um, I will make more game for Zoom. That is for this experience, and it's you know it's 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 a natural multiplayer space for me. I don't need to make a network connection for my you no know, make a server and make a client for my game. Mm. I can I can just let, let the user share their screen and the sound and the control are you know synced. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, it's good that the basics are there. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, uh, but but wouldn't you say that uh, games in general um, uh, had a bigger focus on multiplayer aspects uh, right now and helped to connecting maybe and you know will, will those be gone again and then we'll just have games together or uh, is, uh, was there a shift now towards multiplayer gaming? Or more interesting multiplayers, I would say, you know, instead of just, you know, massively multiplayer online role playing games or something like this. Yeah, you know, those kind of small experiences uh, like, like you had here, I think they are quite, well, they are, yeah, I, I saw a lot of those kind of games which, which really experimented with how we can connect. And I just hope it, it stays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think Zoom will be, well, um, Zoom or the, this online meeting tool will finally became part of our life, and this game can also live uh, with this. Yeah, I think. Mm. All right. Uh, so, is there something you have planned next? Uh, is this is there something you would like the the audience to know what they should check out from you? Yeah, I was um, currently I'm making a game called Nine Ace Recipe. It's also, I mean, it's not a Zoom game, but it's a game about the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a story about a, uh, uh, you, you started to learn cooking during pandemic from you know from your uh, grandma because you have to live by yourself, and it's a cooking game, and you learned cooking through the mobile phone, through testing with the grandma. And yeah, it's also a story about the relationship, um, the new relationship between you and your grandma during the pandemic. Um, and we are still making this game. We'll plan to uh, hopefully release this game in two years. Um, I'm not sure how the world will look like after two years, but yeah, we will see. It is really cool. That's that's true. So everybody uh, at the Play Festival, go play uh, this game. Check out Nine Eyes Recipe as well. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks for being here. I want to say uh, two two zero. That correct? Yes, correct. <laughs>
Aha. <laughs> nice one. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for being here. Um, see you at the festival, I guess. And uh, have a great day. Yeah, you too. See bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.